Hi everybody and welcome to this Inktober 2020 sketchbook tour. My name is uh, Lineke Lijn and uh, well, introducing here my two cats, uh, Mercy and Rembrandt. They will be like a red thread going through this uh, Inktober uh, sketchbook. And uh, it's always, uh, well, quite a big deal to do. We have to draw uh, 31 drawings. So uh, one drawing each day for the whole month of October. And uh, here you can see them. I also have the Dutch version just next to it. So fish is fish. Uh, for instance, teeth are tanden. Uh, in Dutch, so uh, I always uh, do that for my uh, dear followers also here in the Netherlands, of course. So these are a lot of uh, well drawings, but uh, what Inktober is actually for that is uh, to uh, create growth in your drawings and uh, to um, uh, create positive uh, behavior in your drawing and you also uh, well, get better and better at drawing so you have to be consequent and just produce a drawing each day and in that way uh, well you develop a very good uh, well, positive drawing habit as you like then you uh, well, you post it on your Instagram, uh, on your Facebook or with friends and in that way, uh, well, we are all united as artists. Now, I made it myself a little bit uh, easier this year uh, because I have two models. My, my models are uh, Rembrandt, he's a, a sorrel, big cat and this is Mercy she's the lady in the house she's very tiny and, and uh, beautiful uh, elegant and I also wanted to draw on three kinds of paper so the brown craft paper black paper and the simple white paper so see what that brings me of course so uh, well so for each and every word uh, one or both of my cats will be in in the drawing so what i'm using is a uh, fine liner stadler i use jelly roll pens i use uh, brush pens and uh, well let's grab one and a simple uh, color pencil that's enough that was enough for me to uh, create, start creating. So it, it doesn't have to be all that expensive. So let's start. Day one, prompt word was fish. And I like to put in the word. And uh, well, I hide that within the drawing. And I also put in Inktober 2020 and I put in the day. That's very, uh, well, I think that's nice to combine within the drawing. And, uh, well, you see the material at work here, the simple Stettlers, uh, the brush pens, the brush pens here. And here a little bit of uh, white uh, color pencil, for instance, and then that's all I needed on the brown uh, craft paper. Love this drawing. It's Mercy and she's uh, scuba diving and uh, she's playing with the goldfish. <laughs> uh, day two, I didn't have much time that day, but it doesn't matter. I simply took the white jelly roll pen and a little bit of uh, Pan Pastel. I use that now and then. That's uh, a pigment. Or you can use your pastel pencil, for instance. And I made this one very quickly. It just took me maybe 10 minutes or so. And, uh, well, now and then, it's not a beautiful drawing, but now and then you maybe have a little time to draw. But just do it, and then your drawing is not that great. But it doesn't matter. Day three, 
well, I like this one. I, uh, well, I ordered two boxes one day and uh, Mercy, the little one, was uh, fitting in that perfectly. She was cleaning herself and the big Rembrandt, the big one, uh, <laughs> couldn't fit in the box. And uh, that always sticked to my mind. So that is why I used the word bulky for uh, the big cat that I have. I didn't even color him in, just left him white, so that's okay. Then came day four, and the prompt word here is radio. You can see it here. And I made it very, very um, playful. And this is Cat Mercy. She's dancing in front of the radio. So this is my radio. Uh, I didn't quite finish this drawing. Doesn't matter. And uh, here, of course, you see my cat Rembrandt, and uh, well, he's having his doubts about her qualities. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, I love this one. Uh, it's uh, day five. Word is blade, so that's the blade here, going down. And I simply used a little bit of uh, white, in this case, white color pencil to draw out. Um, this uh, kind of a ninja cat and then I used the jelly roll pen for um, uh, for the little detail like here and here on top of this uh, uh, hair band and then this uh, shine in the eye so just a little bit of jelly roll combined uh, with the black paper, I think is, is very, very beautiful indeed. Very, very elegant. Love this one. Then came day six and prompt word here is rodent. I uh, put it in the shadow here. And well, this nasty fellow is uh, going to, uh, well, crush my cat. Uh, maybe, well, just made it a little bit cartoony. I think uh, mouses are very funny, so uh, that is what came out on the white paper this this time. Then came day seven, and uh, the prompt word here is fancy. And uh, fancy is also luxury, and uh, well, just made mercy very feminine here. And she's wearing earrings and lipstick, and she has on a nice top. And uh, wow, she even has nail polish on, <laughs> on her nails. So, uh, yeah, I like this one a lot too on the brown craft paper. Let's continue. And <laughs> this is, I think, this is my mo well, one of my most favorites. Um, it's Mercy again and she sneaked out in the middle of the night and then she went into the bathroom and then she stole grandma's teeth and she's wearing it in her mouth and uh, of course the prompt word here is teeth. Uh, well, I think it's a very funny, um, a very funny drawing indeed and uh, of course it is night so I chose the black drawing paper for this. Then came day nine and uh, this is uh, something that really happened. Uh, my cat Rembrandt, I, I bought tulips and I put it in the vase and then he was sticking his paw in and then his head went in and he wanted to touch the water mm -hmm. and then everything uh, fell down and uh, Mercy thought that was a very, very, uh, a very good action indeed. I couldn't, uh, well, I had to, 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 well, dry everything up, of course. <laughs> then came day 10 and uh, the word here is hope. I think that was very hard to combine, maybe uh, a cat uh, begging for food or something. So I chose the symbols of, uh, of uh, hope, belief and faith all together. And I saw a little uh, face in that. So, and I even saw a little snout in the anchor. So that is, uh, well, it's a bit stylistic, but it came out okay. 
this is also uh, one of my favorites. It's day 11 and the prompt word here is disgusting, disgusting. And once we start uh, our dinner at home, the cats always come around, see what we are eating. And uh, now and then I stick a little bit of uh, cauliflower or something in front of their faces and they do not like it the vegetables of course so they think that is disgusting and uh well murthy is just holding it down here <laughs> you can imagine um day 12 prompt word slippery and now and then i look at the my funnest home videos i love that and there are cats then walking on the uh the edge of a bathtub or something and then they pop in and they get an old wet suit, so I thought, well, that would be nice. And then, uh, so I draw in Rembrandt. He has fallen into the bathtub, and uh, well, he's eager to get out, of course. <laughs> uh, day thirteen prompt word is June. Now this is a, a movie, also the movie June. And that is about uh, the earthworms that are uh, underneath the earth. And uh, the film will come out next year, September. It's all delayed because of Corona, sadly. But uh, I'm looking forward to that. And I really wanted to draw the earthworm. And I simply put in a little cat snout here in that. So this was an excellent uh, excuse for me to start drawing uh, one of the earth worms. And here I used uh, a little bit of white color pencil and the uh, jelly roll pen, of course, and a, a little bit of pompostel again. Excellent uh, effect. Very uh, classical. Then came day 14 and prompt word here is armor. And, uh, well, that's Rembrandt. He loves to peep out of the door and then uh, walk the gallery, uh, the apartment where I live. And then he wants to see the neighbors. So this is why I took that perspective and I've put him in a, a knight armor with little nice details like cat claws here and there. And, uh, well, I think this is a well, nice drawing indeed on the white in this case and this is day 15 and uh, prompt word here is outpost so um, well we don't have a garden because I live three high uh, on an apartment but uh, I do have an outside and uh, well, I thought well maybe I will just make a little birdhouse here and then uh, put Rembrandt to sleep there, uh, waiting for birds hopefully to come around. And I think this is a very beautiful uh, demonstration of combining the um, fine liners with the jelly roll pens for uh, for the sky. And I also used a little bit of the brush pens. Mine's are Tombow, and then uh, I made this a little bit darker here with the uh, Tombows. So I think that's a nice effect finish it a little bit more some of my drawings aren't even finished but that doesn't matter at all day 16 I love this one um, it's the cat in a, a spacesuit and here's the rocket prompt word is rocket and this is the surface of uh, some kind of a planet where the rocket has landed on and here I put in a little bit of the uh, pompastel and uh, well, this is a funny detail I simply uh, used the jelly, jelly roll pen for the highlights and the stars here uh, day 16 and here you can see a little cat face uh, there so all kinds of nice details and uh, well this is one of my favorites too I love drawing on black. Then came day 17 and it's storming and this is Rembrandt and he is wearing uh, a wetsuit and he is even wearing boots and uh, well autumn is coming and the wind is blowing and uh, so 
quite nice and uh, I love the action uh, I've done it very uh, wild drawing here very rough so well it seems to be storming <laughs> then day 18 prompt word here is a trap so I thought uh, well trap mouses cats mouses so this was uh, done quite quickly I simply uh, made a peephole in the in the wooden uh, wall here uh, with the cat peeping looking through if there's a mouse already here and uh, luckily it's not because I, I quite like mice and uh, well on the brown craft paper it's quite nice uh, I had to put in a little bit of the white pastel pencil to uh, create some uh, light coming from behind so I didn't want to do that with all jelly roll pen because that's too white so I combined a little bit of the pastel then came day 19 and prompt word here is dizzy uh, I used a little bit of watercolor paint and of course the uh, the Stadler fine liner and uh, well with watercolor paint I just thought to try something else and I play with little mercy uh, this is a, a whip a whip for you use for horses and I put a little uh, feather on the end and then I play with her and sometimes she gets dizzy next day is day 20 day 20 is word is coral well that was a little bit tricky for me so I thought uh, I'll just have mercy dive under in Egypt or something and then uh, swimming past the beautiful corals here and uh, I used the white paper for this and uh, a little bit of graphite here to create uh, some uh, well, some sky and the rest is all done with the uh, uh, fine liner and the brush pens then we are at day 21 prompt word here is sleep and uh, well here they are both I just love this um, Rembrandt and Mercy uh, love to sleep together and uh, when we are watching telly or something they uh, crawl together and you can see uh, this is Mercy when she was quite young and Rembrandt is the big one and I love it um, because it's evening I also used a little bit of charcoal together with the fine liner and the jelly roll pen day 21 uh, 22 um, prompt word here is chef so I took the biggest one of course the the fatty one Rembrandt and he is uh, in the kitchen and he is having a little a bit of trouble here <laughs> you can see the light uh, of the fire shining on the floor here and I think this is quite an, uh, an amazing drawing came out really nice with uh, the white jelly roll pen and uh, combined with a little bit of water co um, color pencils and uh, here you can see a little bit of watercolor pencils and uh, or simple color pencils well it's just I think this is quite funny drawing then came day 23 prompt word here is rip and uh, little mercy actually uh, once uh, accidentally tore a, uh, a curtain at my place and uh, she got stuck in it and uh, it got torn so I simply got rid of those uh, kinds of curtains and um, well, wow, I think it's quite nice. It's on the black paper. It's it's night, and um, you can just see uh, she see the cat shining through the curtain, and I used the white jelly roll pen, of course, with a little bit of color pencils to get that shine. Day twenty four, dig word here is dig and uh, one day I bought some uh, shoes and took them out 
forgot about the box and then uh, Mercy and Rembrandt started playing with the papers that are inside. They're crackly papers and they make a lot of noise and <laughs> they just went berserk, the two of them. And uh, I just left the, the box there for a few days so they uh, play around in it and... Uh, he was actually, uh, Rembrandt was digging himself in and Mercy was jumping on top of his head. So, uh, I love this one too. Very nice. Then we have day 25. Prompt word here is buddy. Um, well, this is very easy, simple thinking. It's just the two of them with uh, the buddy sign, the, <laughs> the heart sign if you want. And, uh, well, nothing fancy-bancy, just a little bit of uh, fine liner, a little bit of uh, brush pen, that's all. Ooh, yeah, I love this one. Uh, prompt word here is a height on day 26. And uh, what uh, Rembrandt does is uh, he likes to uh, go under a, a fleece blanket and then he uh, stays there and then uh, hopes that Mercy will walk by and then he comes from under it and then they start to jump up and up and down each, each, uh, each other's heads and uh, I think that's very funny so for the word hide I used that uh, fleece blanket and his face just coming from underneath that uh, before uh, Attacking in the funny way. Uh, mercy, of course. Very nice. Uh, just a little bit of jelly roll and uh, some uh, color pencils again, and that's it. Day 27 is music. Music. <laughs> I have a piano. I try to play it. I'm, I'm practicing as lot as I can. And when the cats think that I've done enough, they start walking over, over the keys, of course. So I thought, well, I'll just have Rembrandt here uh, sing a song and then uh, Mercy uh, hurting her eyes of his uh, uh, false way of, of singing. So, well, I like this uh, drawing a lot. It tells everything about my cats. Then can, came along uh, day 28 and the prompt word here is float. So I instantly had to think of uh, Pennywise, of course, from the film It. Very scary, also a little bit funny. But, um, well, I just uh, tried to, um, well, make a cat and then make it look like Pennywise and... This is all done with the jelly roll pen and uh, a little bit of a red jelly roll pen and this part is done with the color pencils. So, uh, well, it's a tiny, rather quick drawing, but I think it's, it's okay. Then came day 29, prompt word were shoes. I thought that was a little bit hard, so, well, I simply took um, both of my cats, put them in boots, uh, put some boots if you like, and uh, made this about, uh, well, big shoes and, and put them in there. So, uh, well, wasn't that inspired that day, but it came out okay. Then came day 30 and prompt word is omnius omnius so well we're coming towards um halloween of course so i thought well this is going to be my uh, halloween uh drawing two black paper a little bit of uh, the jelly roll pen a little bit of the palm pastel and the palm pastel can be uh, this is my um, pencil eraser. It's Koinor Hartmut. And you can actually um, uh, put a little bit of the pump cells on the black paper and then you can push out the grasses if you want. Make them pop out. 
So that's very nice to uh, uh, to create in this way uh, a very ominous drawing. So this is a cat's skull and the graveyard. And uh, well, I really uh, love my black drawings this year. And then it's time for the finish. We've finished. Yes, yes, we've done it. Day 31. And the uh, prompt word here is crawl. Uh, I wanted to draw uh, the snail on Rembrandt's head. He actually came in one day from the balcony and there was a, a snail in his, uh, in his skin, in his fur. I don't know how he got that snail in his skin. Harris, I'm not sure, but I thought, well, that's funny. I will just uh, make that snail. I made it much bigger, of course, <laughs> and then uh, make it crawl over his head. So, uh, well, he's waving bye bye to us, and uh, of course, uh, we're going to do this again next year, aren't we? So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, have you participated in Inktober? Let me know in the comments below. If you like it, what are your findings? And of course, Inktober is all about developing positive drawing habits. And um, I hope to participate again next year. In the year 2021, I hope that will be a better year than uh, this uh, year, of course with uh, all the fuss going on but this is my third Inktober that I've uh, completed so uh, I would say thank you for watching and I will see you again in one of my next tutorials <laughs>